What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today I actually wanted to do a video showing you a piece of my gaming setup. I'm going to be showing you the full thing uh, kind of later on, but I know I'm going to be getting a lot of questions and I already have started getting rolling in. First off, what am I going to be recording with for the Xbox One? What's the quality like and how do you set it up? So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Uh, I kind of did an, a precursor to this when I originally got the Elgato. That's what I'm going to be using and showing you guys how to set up today. So let's get to it. All right, so I've been letting this run actually for a little bit, so I'm going to be able to go back on the program. But here's my TV, here is my monitor with the Elgato software actually up. As you can see, it does it in the full quality 1080p, and I'll go into that more in a little bit. But essentially, here we go. We've got the Xbox One. I go. Ahead, I went ahead and pulled it out a little bit so you can see it. Essentially, all I have is uh, this HDMI cable here plugged in runs right on up into the device here one hdmi in one out this one goes right into your tv let me go ahead and pull this over here and that plugs into the tv there as you can see in the other cable that's coming out this one actually runs over into a usb port that goes into the monitor so super easy super clean setup all you need is the hdmi that the uh, both of the the xbox comes with the hdmi and then uh, the device comes with an HDMI, so you are, as well as all the other plugs. So you are all set up, and it is that simple. So now let's take a look at the actual software for the Elgato and kind of compare it to what the Xbox One can actually do and uh, record. So as you can see, we are actually uh, live right now. I'll turn around, move on this. This has about a one or two second delay. So, you know, you can't just use this computer screen monitor for recording. However, uh, you can use it for very prompt live streaming. Now, the Xbox One also allows you to do live streaming now. That actually is pretty good quality. But let's look at what this, what really makes this a better system or a better reason than actually using the Xbox One. So let's go out and try and get a clip here. Boom, headshot. Let's see if we can get his buddy that's hiding over there as well. Maybe throw a grenade. You know, just try and put together a nice little clip of misses and terrible accuracy. Show your friends how bad of a player you are like myself. Um, and get killed, of course. So now what we could do, Xbox record that. So it actually listened in. It heard me say that, so it's going to record it. It might take a couple seconds, but it's going to record the last 30 seconds of gameplay. That's really great and all, but, uh, you know, it's only the past 30 seconds. Now, you can also, before you actually want to start recording, you could say, you know, have it start recording, then record for a full five minutes. But I believe the max that you can do is actually in 720. So let's take a look at what we can actually do now on here. So the TV is still in the same position that you see live right now, but... What we can do is go back in time. So let's go back. Say we even want to just record that last clip that I just hit. You know, you can go back, click record at any time, and then make an endpoint of what I was actually just doing. As you can see, this is the map that I was just on and what I was doing. But what you can do, this is already two minutes back in time. What we can also do is go back a full 15 minutes to two games ago, or 30 minutes. You can go back as far as you want. This is just when I turned my Xbox on. Now, this is a clip that I hit when I first turned it on. And, you know, if I wanted to go back and say get that as well, this is going to be in full 1080p. Go all the way back, not have to worry about just recording the last 30 seconds. And if you want to, you can even include your own microphone on top of it with that mic button you see on the right side with live commentary. And that will sync up your audio with the actual video so you can talk while you play and have that recorded as well now let's say I wanted to actually record this as a clip go ahead and just click record now I could record this full last 24 minutes if I would like to and then just cut out those kind of clips that I actually liked that I was doing in this kind of last game session or I can just kind of you know record this last uh, little one minute clip that I hit when I first turned the Xbox on of me doing some sniping so I record that and then that would go into kind of your edit bay and you can record or excuse me look at this as well as export it and do some full editing if not you could just upload it straight to YouTube Facebook Twitter all the same things you could do on Xbox right on your computer so it's the next level stepping up from the Xbox if you really want to have higher quality get the full gameplay you know be a person that's uploading to YouTube whether it be to share with your audience or your friends 
this is the best way to do it. Now, the Xbox One recording system definitely will fill a lot of people's needs if you just want to record a clip for, say, my World's Best Clip of the Week series. The Xbox One recording system is really all you're going to need, but if you want to have that full professional quality that I was talking about, record full gameplay, etc., definitely the Elgato is going to be the way to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, don't forget to drop a like. If you want to see some clip comparisons, like this clip you're seeing right now, this is actually from the Elgato, I'm going to have it annotated and linked in the description below to a comparison of the Xbox One footage recording versus that recording from the Elgato system. I'm also going to be doing a huge giveaway for my 100,000 subscriber special video that's going to be including an Elgato. So if you're interested in seeing that, if the comparison video isn't up yet or the uh, 100,000 subscriber isn't up yet, be sure to subscribe. Stick around, guys. Definitely coming soon as well as much more videos. You can check out my YOLO on the battlefield for battlefield hilarious videos or my and real life for Call of Duty shoutcasting trolling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Again, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Stone Mountain 64 signing out.